Welcome to Julian Meditation. The purpose of Julian Meditation is defined as fostering the practice and teaching of contemplative prayer within the Christian tradition. And this accords with Julian's precept that the highest form of prayer consists in simply waiting on God. Contemplative prayer has been described as listening for God, opening ourselves to God, waiting silently upon God. Other descriptions are meditation, contemplation, centering prayer, or the prayer of quiet. In contemplative prayer, we seek to be aware of the presence of God and to remain silently and attentively in that presence, completely open to God. It is not just that words are necessary, but that they may even get in the way. Prayer involves listening as well as speaking, but so often we do all the talking and God doesn't get a chance to talk with us. Simply being with God like this is a very natural way of praying. It may be the only way we can pray when we are tired or ill. Some children pray in this way quite instinctively. So did the old man who explained why he sat in church for hours. I look at him, he looks at me. A Julian meditation usually takes place in a group. Belonging to a group of people who meet regularly to pray in silent contemplation can be a great help and encouragement. We do not feel isolated. Prayerful silence is greatly helped when people get together to do it. You can use this recording as a taster. I will begin with a reading from the cloud of unknowing. You may wish to pause the recording for a period of silence after the first reading. Press play again, and I will end with a shorter reading from the same passage. Concerning an ecstasy experienced in high contemplation. I entered into unknowing, and there I remained unknowing, transcending all knowledge. I entered into unknowing, Yet when I saw myself there, without knowing where I was, I understood great things. I will not say what I felt, for I remained in unknowing, transcending all knowledge. That perfect knowledge was of peace and holiness, held at no remove in profound solitude. It was something so secret that I was left stammering, transcending all knowledge. I was so whelmed, so absorbed and withdrawn, that my senses were left deprived of all their sensing. And my spirit was given an understanding while not understanding, transcending all knowledge. They, who truly arrive there, cut free from themselves. All that they knew before now seems worthless, and their knowledge so soars they are left in unknowing, transcending all knowledge. The higher one ascends, the less one understands, because the cloud is dark which lit up the night. Whoever knows this remains always in unknowing, transcending all knowledge. This knowledge is unknowing, is so overwhelming, that wise folks disputing can never overthrow it, for their knowledge does not reach to the understanding 
of not understanding, transcending all knowledge. And this supreme knowledge is so exalted that no human power or learning can grasp it. They who master themselves will, with knowledge in unknowing, always be transcending. And if you should want to hear, this highest knowledge lies in this loftiest sense of the essence of God. This is a work of his mercy to leave one without understanding, transcending all knowledge. Thank <laughs> you.